Hey, um, here we are back at, uh, at all of me, uh, the, the chart uh, that I got out of the real book in the key of C major. And now, um, one of the most important things, uh, I, I can't emphasize this enough, is to memorize tunes. Uh, and that, that means from top to bottom, like every, everything about the tune. But right, right now, I, um, what we're going to focus on is memorizing the form and memorizing the chord progression, all right? And, uh, and there, there are techniques to memorization. And I'm just going to show you a technique of memorization today. And I hope that you will apply it to this tune and you will be able to play this tune, the changes to this tune, not the melody yet, but I hope that you can play the changes to this tune without ever looking at a chart. Um, I, I should mention that, um, in, in, you know, I, I've seen all sorts of players in, 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 my, in my life, and, uh, and the great players, you're never going to see a chart book on the stage, right? Because they, they know their stuff. They, they know the tunes backwards and forwards. Uh, they, they know everything about the tune. And um, uh, it, it, it's beyond memorized. It's 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 dissected and put to, put back together again a hundred different times and in a hundred different ways. Uh, there's nothing more disturbing uh, for me. Uh, well, there may be a few things, but <laughs> there's there one of the most disturbing things I find is when I when there, there's a group of guys playing and in a in a in a uh, performance situation, and everybody's got their head buried in a book, right? And and then an improv improvisation comes up, and I and I think to myself, how can they improvise on this tune if they don't even know what the changes are? That's that's a real mind blower. Um, so um, so honor the tune by learning how to memorize it, and I'm going to give you a memorizing technique here today. And it's one uh, uh, that we can call um, associative memory, right? Uh, let's begin with the first chord. As you can see, it's a C major 7 chord. So, you know, you've, you've got that, right? C major 7. And it doesn't matter where you play it. You're, 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 not, you're, not play you're not memorizing patterns here, right? You're memorizing the chart. You're memorizing that letter name and that chord type you see you can you can play that now c major seven you know these are all c major sevens right yeah so i can play them i can play that c major seven anywhere on the fretboard the important thing is that you know what that one chord is that one chord the first chord of this tune in the key of c major is a c major seven chord and the next chord is is uh, 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 at, at measure three is an E seven chord. It's the secondary. It's a secondary dominant leading to the A. Uh, that's another another topic. But so what we're going to do is 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 memorize just the first line. That's as far as you're going to go. We're going to memorize the first line. So you're going to play C major seven, and then to E E seven. Right, and, and you're going and, and, and you're going to do that again, right? And, you're, you're gonna, and then to the E seven. So you know that the E seven comes after the C major seven, right? The E seven comes after the C major seven. So as you move forward, you want to keep back stitching. If you will, uh, the the uh, you, you're you're sort of memorizing backwards and forwards at the same time. So after the E7, the E7 first of all, the most likely place for the E7 to lead is in, in a cycle, which is going to be A. So you're either going to have the choice of an A, you know, an A major or or an A minor. In this case, we've got an A7, like a, a major triad with a flat seven. Okay, so now, so now let me think. What do we have? We have a C major seven, and then at measure at measure f three we have an E seven, and then at measure five we have we have an A seven, right? And each one of those is two measures long, right? Now I think you can follow this, right? 
I, I know you can. So, so we've got two measures, C major 7, two measures, E7, two measures, A7. Now, let's just, let's just play that, and I'm not going to look at the chart, right? It doesn't hurt to, 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 to you know, keep getting it underneath your fingers either, right? And, uh, and then the A7, where, where does the A7 want to lead? The A7 is a five chord, and a five chord wants to lead back to its one chord. In this case, it's either going to be a D minor or a D major of some kind, right? Uh, um, it, or it, it, or in, in, in every case, it's going to be a minor or a major sound of some, of some kind. Uh, where in this case, we're going to the D minor chord. All right, so, so going, uh, uh, going backwards, uh, we, 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 have the, we have the A7 going to the D minor the E7 going to the A7, and the C major going to the E7, right? So four words, we're going E, I'm sorry, we're going C, E, A, D, or C major 7, E7 leading to A7, A7 leading to D minor, right? If we go backwards, it's D minor to A7 to E7 to C major. You should, you should be able to, to, to visualize it backwards as well. All right. So now, so now we have um, C major seven, A seven, and D minor. Right. Okay. Good. And so that's the first eight measures. That is one quarter of the tune. I would guess that this may have taken five minutes. I don't know. I don't know what the what the clock is going to say. Uh, that may have taken five minutes. So it, it, my, my guess is that the, that the next eight measures is going to take us even less time. So the first, uh, at, at, measure, at measure nine, uh, we have E7, and, uh, and we know that E7, we've, we've played the E7 before, so it's our first repeated chord. Uh, so we have E7, and E7 leads to, it's the five chord of, you know, what chord, what key is going to be either major or minor A, right? E, the five is the dominant of, of, uh, of A, A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, five, dominant. And uh, in this case, it leads to the A minor. Nice little trick, nice little harmonic trick. And, uh, and so now we, we've, got, uh, we've got 12 measures in total, C major, E7, A7, D minor, and then, and then that E7 repeats and leads to A minor rather than an A7 as it did before, right? And then moving, well, and then let, let's, and now let, let, let's play that. So we've got the first, the first 12 measures, C major, and then to E7, E7 goes to A7, always cycling, right? A7 goes to D minor cycling, and then it, 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 it repeats that E7, and then does a cycle to A minor. Where would A minor go? A minor, uh, well, it, it, it does, a, it does a, a, a 2 5 kind of thing. A minor is the 2 chord, D7 is the 5 chord. And then uh, it does an interpolation, meaning that it's, just, it's, the, it's the same root, but a different chord, uh, chord sound. So a D7 going to a D minor 7, uh, and then, you know, that becomes a 2 and a 5. I, I think you're probably following me, and I'm doing this maybe, maybe a, little, a little on the quick side, but now we're going to go back to the beginning. Um, at, at this point, I should interject and say that the worst way to memorize a tune is to play it from the beginning to the end over and over again. Don't do that. Um, another thing that I, that, that I should say is that as soon as you attack a tune, if you say, I want to learn this tune, don't start playing it from beginning to end over and over again and expect it to just, uh, you know, memorize itself. It isn't going to do it. Immediately start with this kind of technique of memorizing the tune. If, if for instance, um, uh, you, you just get, let's say you just get the, through the first 16 measures of the tune 
and, and you play those 16 measures, you listen to those 16 measures, you get away from the chart, and you play them over and over again, and you have a, have a good listen, uh, you, you, you will be a lot further ahead than two years later playing from beginning to end, from beginning to end, and never being able to memorize uh, the tune because you're not using a memorization technique. So this memorization technique is basically just taking one chord at a time and relating it to the previous chord that you, that you just played, right? Um, so now what we've got is the first 16 measures, or the A section. Also, there, there's one, one other thing that's very important. How do chords function? As soon as you see an E, like a 7 chord, an A7 chord, E7 chord, D7 chord, all, remember the tendencies of, of those chords. Where do those chords want to go? And E7 is going to want to return to its tonic, a tonic chord, right? Be, being an A of some, of some kind, minor, major. And A7 is going to want to return to D. And, and D7 will want to return to G. Remember those tendencies because it's going to help you drastically in, in, in memorizing uh, where where things go and 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 uh, and how um, how progressions work. So 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 far we've got we've got the one chord, and then we've got the uh, the uh, uh, five uh, the E seven chord. That that's a little that's 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 a, a, a rather characteristic um, change in this tune. You know, that that E seven. So when you think of all of me, like to, well, when I think of all of me, I think, oh yeah, that's a tune that has the three seven as as in measure three, and that helps me, you know. From there, I get oh, and then it just cycles, right? Uh, and and the more the more tricks like this that you learn, uh, the 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 easier it'll it'll get to memorize. Remember that progressions are related. They're rela the chords are related to each other. That's uh, that's what gives us forward motion and interest. Um, so don't don't try to memorize a, a chord and then another chord and you have no idea how those chords are related to each other. Like that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare scenario trying to memorize that way. So again, we have the one chord and then we have the three seven chord and it cycles to the A seven and that cycles to a D minor and then and then it goes to the E seven. And then this time, rather than go to an A7, it goes to an A minor. And then uh, it goes from A minor, uh, A minor becomes sort of like a two chord, and it goes to the D7. And then D minor, and being the two chord, and then the five. And then now we're finished the first 16 measures. Now bonus time, uh, the next eight measures is exactly the same as the first eight measures. Uh, this, this is another important important part of a memorization right you don't have to memorize this over and over again uh over again it's 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 repeating itself right so so here we have same chord c major e7 a7 and d minor and now uh, we're at measure 24 we've got eight measures to go this is sort of like uh, these eight measures are sort of like a long tag, right? And the and the change that it goes to here is the four major chord, just like a cowboy tune, right? Four major, and we can use uh, four major seven, change it up. That's easy to, to to remember. And then and then the F minor goes to the parallel minor. And now we're just going to cycle downwards. All you have to do is it goes two, five, two, five, and one, right? Meaning E minor seven, two, five. That's a two, five in the key of D, actually. Two, five, two, five in the key of C. And that's the whole tune. So, um... I hope that uh, that you got something out of out, out of that in terms of how to memorize tunes, uh, the, and 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 what what you you should use the same technique not only in this tune but uh, but from from song to song. In other words, don't if once you've got a tune memorized, don't let it just go away. You know, you it's like adopting a kitten. 
you you have to you have to feed it right you you have to visit it every day you have to make sure that it's that it's uh, being taken care of right you don't just you know th- adopt a kitten and leave it in the corner uh, and and so <laughs> when you got two tunes that means you've adopted two kittens or whatever you know whatever <laughs> metaphor you want to use um, and uh, and so you have to come back to them you have to visit them you visit them a little bit every day until they start to feel comfortable. They start to feel, you know, be a part of 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 the family, right? The, your family, your repertoire family, and then you add another tune, and you do the same thing. You take care of that tune and that tune and that tune until you've built up to ten tunes and twenty tunes and forty tunes and a hundred tunes, right? That's uh, that that's the way to do it. So it it systematically, uh, progressively. And uh, and using these uh, uh, these harmonic um, facts, these these harmonic rules of of uh, tonic and subdominant and, and dominant, the more the more um, grip you have on the uh, on the harmonic structure of the tune, obviously the the easier is going to be to memorize, right? Because the, the chords aren't going to look like they're completely disassociated from each other. You're going to see, oh well that chord is a part of that chord and that chord's going to that chord and then that chord goes to that chord. That's the way it works. That's the way music works. That's the way memorization works. Okay, so um, if uh, if you got anything out of that, I'd be really interested to know uh, because it's a it's a little more it's a little more esoteric. But man, is it ever 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 important? Uh, there there are so many um, really uh, essential aspects to uh, to uh, memorization and diff- and different ways uh, to to memorize as well. This isn't the only way, but it certainly has worked for me, and I know that it has worked for many for many other players. And this transcends any style, you know, whether whether it, whether it be pop music or, or classical music or jazz or whatever. Uh, it's 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 a way, section at a time, short section at a time. Same goes for your melodic work. Okay, so if you got anything out of this, uh, please click like and uh, and please uh, subscribe and let us know what you think. We'd, it really helps in 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 sending us off in. Uh, in the right direction uh, and, uh, and yeah uh, that, that's all good thanks for thanks for stopping by and hope to see you again